Hello and welcome back to my Imperial USA Victoria 2 Ultimate Mod Let's Play. Now, last episode, we basically got wrecked by the good old French, um, which is quite annoying, but um, we couldn't really do a lot about it, to be quite honest. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that we are basically aiming to sort of strengthen our, strengthen our ties with the Brits um, who have a decent military and are pretty strong in the world. We actually have 200 relations but there's too many great power allies. Uh, it's because they're allied with Russia so that's not really the best. Uh, Spain's allied with the Ottomans and Austria France is allied with Italy and Netherlands. We've got British Columbia as um, as a puppet. Um, so I don't really know what to do, to be honest. I, f I feel like we might as well carry on in terms of what we're doing now. Um, we're actually fairly like we could keep going towards a more fairer voting system. Uh, the next step would basically be universal suffrage. Um, I don't know if I want to do it. It will increase immigrant attraction which will increase our population which is what we want so I suppose I will do that. Uh, but that does increase the likelihood of the liberals getting in, getting in shall I say. Because uh, the vote, see at the moment the upper house the liberals are 28% but in terms of people's and voters' ideology, they are 36. I mean, the Conservatives are actually much more uh, likely to get in. But, I mean, there isn't actually a Liberal Party. There's only a two-party state, two-party system. The Democrats and the Southern Democrats. What? The Democratic Party and the Southern Democrats. Where's the Republicans? I'm, I wonder if they come along a bit later. Maybe there's like an event that ties them into it somewhere. Um, but yeah, we basically want to keep maintaining our economy, keep it going. If we can, cut a bit of taxes here and there. Uh, get worse military spending up to max if possible as well. Reduce tariffs. Um, we want really, we want zero tariffs. And if we can eventually get to it, zero tax. But I mean, that's going to be a massive, in, massive ask because it'll basically rely on... Um, on trade and industry. Maybe maybe not 0% tax, maybe like 20% flat tax would be good. Our administration's at 100%, which is nice. We've actually put def uh, education at 50 because we're not actually researching anything. I don't think stuff starts to come through to be researched until late in 36. I think like that's the next one by the looks of it. So, there we go with that. Uh, shall we reduce tariffs a tiny bit? I don't know. I don't know if Because, I mean, what we could do is we could... Oh, <coughs> God. My voice went fucked up then. Uh, what we could do is actually just, like, increase our military and get another army. Um, and that would definitely help us protect ourselves it also gives us the opportunity to possibly attack the old Spaniards. What are the relations like with the Spanish and the French? Very good. 151. Uh, the Brits don't like them, which is nice to see. The Spanish are actually in, fairly indifferent towards us. Mancia is in the sphere of France. Yeah. Um, someone actually suggested we invade Morocco, but we can't do that because they're in the sphere of Britain. It would make us go to war of Britain, which I don't really want to do, to be quite honest. Um, however much I would like a good old bit of Africa. But uh, it's not going to happen, is it? Uh, we could, oh, we could actually 
invade the Danes? Do they own Greenland and Iceland? Yes. We have 17 infamy. I am going to acquire a place in the sun. Now, I will say that um, I did say, I, I think it was last that I said that um, for me to actually take all of America, uh, north and south, I would eventually have to start using cheats. Um, and I got quite a few comments, basically people saying they're okay with me doing that. So, you know, I think I'm pretty okay with that if it makes the, the Let's Play a bit more interesting. So yeah, like I say, if you have an opinion on, on that matter, do comment below. And I will also take it in, into account. If you want me to do it legitly, but possibly not have as big an empire and not be as successful. I mean, the, the thing is, Infamy is basically there to stop uh, someone becoming too OP and like just taking over everywhere. Which, you know, can obviously happen. But, still. She speed up to full speed. So we're actually hoping to get a bit of Africa here. Um, is this navy big enough? No, it's definitely not. Not with four. Uh, okay, well... This navy did actually get battered, I think. So maybe we'll go up to ten... Ten ships. How many is that? One, two, three, four, six. Um, and shall we keep getting forts where we can get forts? I don't think I need any on the British border. We have actually got some. Not we haven't got any there though. But I will get some like on the Spanish border. We're building some there and there. We're not building any here. Build them. Yeah, we do. We do want to be getting forts, basically, and that's going to help our defence and everything. And there we go. I mean, I could further. I'm hoping. Oh God, will Spain join? That's the thing. Uh, Denmark. They're not they're very quite friendly with Spain. Not very friendly with Russia. Hmm. That's my only worry is that another power will get involved. I don't see why they w What the fuck? We're number one in the world. How is that? I'm guessing prestige? We've actually got a similar military power to the Prussians, so. Uh, we're not actually too bad, are we? You know, we could be worse. You can. The thing is, you can always be worse. That's the probably not a good motto to go by, <laughs> but um, you know, it's a sensible one. What's this? Yeah, why not? Create free state. Um, yeah. So when we get our our nave sorted, and we can actually afford to. Ship some ships over. We might as well start a war with them. I suppose. Because then at least if... We don't want to like send our army out. And and then like say the, the British. Well maybe not the British but the French. Declare war on us. Don't really see why. But... I don't really have any interests over here do they? In Africa. You know... I suppose they might want to stop us from actually invading and having the possibility of having an empire, but hopefully they won't. Right, can we go now? No, we can't. Right, uh, okay, we'll go up to... We'll go to... Ooh, 13. Unlucky 13. You can be merged. Um, we'll keep the money coming in. I'm not going to spend... Keep it. If, I mean, if we can just save up a bit of money, so in case we do come across fairly poor times, you know, at least we've got some money to go by. If I split that army, what does it leave? Two infantry. Okay, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Right, come down here. Will the Brits give us military access? 
They will. Hello, Britain. You friendly bugger. Okay. We will stop off in Banjul. Banjul. And, uh... And then we'll rest up, and then we'll go for the, the final attack. <clears throat> we could try and take Greenland and Iceland if we want as well. 18 infam infamy. It's not actually that much, is it, really? I've always wondered why they give you the option to lose prestige. Like, like that send an American expedition was to either gain prestige or lose it. It's like, well, why would you pick to lose it? I suppose you could do if you want, if you don't want to be great at power. Right, now we'll rest up here, if we can. Can we rest up? Yep. And we shall move on. Oh, we can start influencing these nations as well. Duchy Van Halt, Saxonburg. Right. This is one thing that I always forget to do. Now, where do we want our sphere to sort of... Do we really want to massively go into um, into Europe? I suppose we can do, but I think North and South and Asia. North, South America. North America, South America and Asia, that's what I'm trying to say. So what we do is we put priority. Now, do we really want Colombia? Not really. We do want a Hawaii though, so we'll put middle. Um, we have a choice them, so we can't influence them. So a lot of um, of Asian nations. Um, Japan, we will put on max. Uh, same for Korea, Persia as well, and Siam uh, and the Chinese Empire for that matter. Uh, oh god, um, maybe the Muggles, although the Brits will deal with them. Europe, however, um, we will for Cologne and Bavaria, have one on them. Italy, yes please, Mecklenburg, Malta, Netherlands. There's another one. Norway's another one. Papal States. Pomerania. Uh, Saxony. Spain. I don't know why they're not a major power. Switzerland as well. Wurttemberg and that. And them. And we'll leave it at that. So that'll give us 13 influence each day. So... Spreading out our influence, if you've got it on max, if we've got a nation on max, like max that gives us um, 13 influence. And we will invade. And take it for our own and gain a colony. Hopefully. I hope they won't put up too much of a struggle. Those Danish. Right, keep you there. We will deal with the Duchy of Anhal, increase opinion. Frankfurt and Saxe. Frankfurt. And Saxe. There we go. Right. What percentage are they on? There. And we're actually losing it. Are we actually being invaded? Yes. <laughs> Fucking knew it. Okay. Well, this will actually give us a big boost because we'll be able to... Jeez, fuckers. In our own backyard. I'm sure we can. God, they've actually sent a few men over. Okay, we can do the same. And we are going to invade. We're going to actually port at Hampshire. Or Portsmouth, I believe. And we're going to attack them. And we should win. Yes. Okay. Chase them down, lads. 
and now kill them and then go to Bangor. Uh, we're sending a navy up there, which is great. Hopefully they won't suffer too much attrition. Maybe we could build another man of war and a frigate. Uh, we want a man of war. And we'll have three frigates. Like that for our navy. In navy. Right. We might lose a brigade or two in this. Because we are suffering from attrition. Although I think we're... Um, and yeah, now we're at 3%. Look at Russia, pushing, pressurizing the Scandinavia. Jesus, our money shot up as soon as we parted. I, I'm guessing that like having a, a, like an army and a navy out at sea costs like a lot of money. I right, go to Iceland. They are willing to have peace with us, but I think what we're going to do instead is acquire that. Now that has cost us 10 infamy. So it was a pretty infamous thing to do. But nevertheless Greenland and Iceland will be a nice little addition to our empire. I think. And I'm quite happy to take 10 infamy to gain these great land masses. I probably have quite a loyal. Although I don't know. Maybe they don't. Model colony. Right. We can take this place now. God, there's a lot of provinces up there. We could even release Iceland if we want. I don't know if you can release Greenland on this. I don't know. Right, you can all meet up in Washington. I don't know if I'll sound a bit different. Like, if my P's and stuff sound better. Uh, because... Uh, that could sound very wrong if I don't explain it um, like right now. But basically, I've got a pop filter. So I'm hoping it's... I mean, it only actually cost three quid. <laughs> so I'm sort of hoping it's um, not too terrible. But even if it is, it's only three quid. And it was free delivery as well, so, you know, pretty decent, really. Uh, right, we've got a bit of cash. Shall we keep strengthening our... Borders. Build a wall. Um, okay. We'll build forts there. Uh, yeah. But we'll keep saving as much as possible. As much as we'll. Right, you can go down here and we will split you and you. And you're going to go and wait in Wilmington. Wilmington. If I had to live anywhere in America, I think I'd probably live... I've said this many a time before. I think I've said it on Let's Play, actually. But I think I would actually live, like... Uh, I wouldn't live in Detroit, but possibly somewhere near the Great Lakes. I don't know why, but... Like, cooler weather... Uh, you know, or, or maybe, I don't know whether I'd want to live in, like, the hustle and bustle of a big city. Uh, I mean, this area, probably not. Isn't it quite deserty and stuff? And mountainous. Uh, maybe California. I think, I, yeah, I definitely could live in California. Just down here. I think. Los Angeles. Easy. This whole state here. Um... Pop, to be honest, anywhere is probably better than where I live now. Yeah, we'll accept that. There we go. That looks very sexy, indeed. I'm quite impressed. We will build a fort straight away. Uh, go back, and then you can go home and warm up for a start, because bloody hell. Very cold war. And uh, I mean literally, not metaphorically. Uh, right, go there. Wurzburg, Switzerland, and Korea. And Korea. Co 
colonial province. So this is to create states. This means we'll be able to vote in our elections and stuff. I wonder if creating these states is having an effect on our... No, it's still 36%. Although, people's ideology is 38, so... I don't know. Uh... Are you home yet? There we go. Uh, right. I think I will end it here then. We'll actually s you can go to Long Island. Long Island can be our main uh, naval base. Uh, and yeah, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this this episode, do let me know. Do you like the idea that I actually gained this? Do you think having the fair arms will cause a bit of friction with Britain? Uh, also, our relationship like it's actually gone down. We'll increase relations. So yeah, thank you, and goodbye.